this is your Mach 3 1024 set. And this is the same set with different graphics, a couple of extra pages, on a portrait orientation of the screen monitor. It's running on Windows 10 and I plan to use it with a touchscreen. I developed two applications, a screen keyboard and an encoder wheel. The stainless steel look tries to resemble a hash control panel and the portrait orientation of the monitor allows to separate the buttons, the arrows, LEDs, and G-code screens, making it easier to navigate once you get used to it. The graphic theme, although not completely flat, adds some pop-out effect to the buttons and everything else. Some of the graphics on the offset page are slightly modified. Some others on the tool feed and spindle page have been slightly modified and taken from the program files. All right, that's that's enough. Very well, so what you see here is a program called Krita. Uh, as you can see here, Krita is an open source program similar to Photoshop, but without any subscription fees or any cost whatsoever. So all you gotta do is just go to krita.org and download the latest version, of this program. But also uh, one of the things you're gonna need is uh, what you see here and I'm pointing it with the mouse <laughs> as you get the pin and pointing it with the pin. Uh, this is a tablet, a uh, pen tablet. People that do drawings and paintings on uh, digital media uh, use all the time. Now this is a tablet that is the cheapest one that I could find on Amazon. It's an XP pen. Uh, the number is G640 and it costs around 35 bucks, something like that, maybe 40. And uh, when I got it, and I was just tempted to return it because, you know, when I plugged it in and I started trying to use it, as you can see here that I'm moving my cursor from one end of the screen to the other end. And the proportion of that movement is uh, quite different and whatever I'm moving on, the pad itself. See, in between these four uh, corners is what the screen uh, is supposed to be, right? The ratio of the screen to this little pad to the big screen is uh, it's not one to one. So what, what that means is that your hand-eye coordination had to get used to uh, this new uh, way of uh, moving something on the screen. And it took, I don't know, it takes a couple of hours for it to, to get used to it and then it becomes natural. And then you don't even have to look at the pad, just look at the screen and do whatever you have to do on the program. Now, this is a Krita program and once you download the program and then you probably won't look like this, uh, the program will, will um, create a new file. Let me close that file. It'll look like this when you just open it. And uh, it says right here, new file or new image. I got several um, already presets that, I'm gonna, uh, that I use most of the time. As you can see here, it says drawing practice, YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnail. Usually um, if I'm gonna create a YouTube thumbnail, then I select this file and automatically uh, sets the ratio of uh, 1280 by 720. The drawing practice is uh, 1920 by 1080. It's uh, most of the time is what I use. So if I select that, uh, I have it customized so it'll open only one layer and I have the layer on black because I kind of prefer to draw it that way. This is basically the program that you use. So I, I will have to make a video just exclusively for uh, showing you how to use uh, the program and the layers and the different tools that are most used for creating uh, that kind of graphic. Let me see what else you need to be able to do that. One of the things that you need is Mac 3 Screen Editor and that program is also like available on the internet and I'll put a link on the description. And of course your Artsoft uh, Mac 3 program either the demo version or the full paid program. Uh, most of the time when you buy a controller 
for uh, CNC eBay market. Then it comes with some sort of software, include a little CD with the key already included on it and you can just use it normally. Another thing is that, well, you just need to practice. Once you have the images or the graphics to put onto your Mac 3 screen, then you can go to the file where Mac 3 is on your computer, like the, in this case, and this C, and here's the Mac 3 folder. And you just uh, dump your screen set sub program right here and the images you come to the bitmaps and there is a meal bitmaps and here are the images that i already have into that folder and you can see here are some of the, the screens that we were talking about and some of the buttons so some of these buttons are created on gimp and some of them on krita all of them can be created on krita i think a program is easier and once you get used to it uh, you can see this round button with the reflection on it. Uh, that's uh, something that you can do. All right, so. So this is going to be uh, video number one for this kind of things and uh, modification of your screen set for Mac 3. I uh, hope you get some value out of it. And if you do get value out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will help a lot. And if you're not interested on modifying pictures for Mac 3, maybe you can learn how to draw or paint on, on Krita. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.